soon. The next point is whole genome sequencing. Sequencing the entire genome of an organism. You know, genome means the total DNA of an organism. Oh. Om, O-M-E. It sounds like that our Om, <laughs> entire Brahman. So here also entire DNA. There is a similarity with that. Ah, proteom, there is another word. There are this Om word, genome, Om. Om suffix, it is being used uh, at different places like proteom. Transcriptome, metabolome, okay, similar lipidome. So all of them uh, speak about the totality, study in totality, study of total protein of an organism is proteome. Study will be called proteomics. The study will the study if you talk, if you call it study then we are, I will call it genomics, genomics research, genomic study. Hmm, that studies about the whole genome. Genome means the whole genome. I mean the whole DNA. Proteome means the total DNA of that organism. The study will be called proteomics, proteomics, transcriptomics, study of the total transcript. The total transcript is called transcriptome. Study of that is called transcriptomics. Study of the total metabolite. Our total metabolite, that is metabolome, is called metabolic, uh, meta, metabolomics. Metabolomics. And lipidomics means study of the total lipid. Similarly. So you can use OME anywhere. You can put as a suffix. It will uh, make a sense that it, you are studying in totality of that particular. So anyway, all these things have come up recently. Whole genome sequencing, it started sometime during 1990s, okay, with the human genome project, you can say. And there were many bacterial genome projects. The first bacteria that was sequenced was uh, uh, Haemophilus influenzae, I, I, I remember. Haemophilus influenzae, that bacterium, that is not virus. Influenza uh, is caused by bacteria also, Haemophilus influenzae. After that, during that time, when, when was that sequencing done? 1995 or something like that, 1995. And that was the period when whole genome sequencing was uh, going on randomly on different organisms. On one side, on eukaryotic system like human genome, drosophila genome, rice genome, Leishmania. In our lab, we, we used to do Leishmania genome sequencing. In our lab, uh, it was in a collaboration with the French lab. Christian Blano was the scientist I remember, with which my guide, Dr. Addo, uh, he had a collaborative work. And uh, our lab was given a task of to sequence the chromosome number 10 only. In, in Leishmania, there are 36 linkage groups, 36 chromosomes. So a little bit more difficult than human genome project, actually. So that was a period when people used to do sequencing using Sanger's uh, dideoxy method. That is a little bit slow method. During 2005 and afterward, uh, next generation sequencing, that is called next generation sequencing, that evolved. Now we are in, running with the fourth generation, fourth next generation sequencing, in the fourth generation of NGS, that is called NGS. Sequencing very fast. There are many techniques hmm, of next generation sequencing. Here we will not talk about that. 